Okay, boys and girls, today we are taking a look at my top four hunting knife choices. Now, before we break into what each knife here is and why I like them for hunting, this is kind of a disclaimer because I might not be the best person to ask for hunting knife choices, but uh, because a lot of my hunting knives or kind of my top knives for processing and skinning game animals largely comes from the fact that I'm already out practicing bushcraft and survival uh, and hunting is kind of a part of that so largely with these knives these are the knives that I carry and field and use most frequently for bushcrafting wilderness living practice and so when I'm doing those types of things if I happen to get a grouse or hare or, you know, food in general or game animals in general. These are the knives that I'm going to because they're what I have and they're what I feel confident in using. And so a lot of these knives that you see, well, all of these knives on the list here are going to be knives that are just as good at skinning a hare or gutting a grouse as they're going to be, you know, feather sticking or starting a fire. So these are pretty versatile knives, but they are the knives that I'm honestly using when I am processing game animals in the wilderness. So the first knife is the 3DK or Three Dog Knives uh, MAK or Multi Animal Knife and this is going to be probably the closest to a true to form hunting knife of the whole list but this is still a very much a camp knife general purpose bushcraft or wilderness blade it just does have a little bit more orientation towards a game animal processing primarily in the fact that it has these openings and it's very easy to clean uh, blood and guts out of these blades or out of this knife so there's not a whole lot of crevices or kind of hidey holes for blood and other things to build up and hide away in this knife so it's very easy to clean and that's kind of why it is a little bit more towards a hunting knife but like I said this is a great field knife this one is in K110 and so this is a little bit more on the kind of tool steel or carbon end but this blade comes in many different flavors from more stainless steel blades to less stainless steel blades like this one but still a great option and a really fantastic knife. Um, definitely makes the list for one of my top favorite knives in general, but like I said, because of that, because I carry it more, it ends up seeing action and it ends up seeing uh, game animals that I uh, take down and process, of course. So anyways, this is, like I said, the 3DK MAK or multi-animal knife and uh, that's the first one on the list. So the next one on the list is the BRK Bushcrafter or Bark River Knives Bushcrafter. This one should really come as no surprise as, like I was saying in the intro, you know, I, a lot of these uh, knives that end up processing game animals are just the knives that I have on me. And the Bark River Knives Bushcrafter is probably one of my most carried knives, and so I pretty much almost always have this knife on me. And so, naturally, it ends up processing a lot of game animals and that being said, you know, it does a pretty fantastic job. This is really one of those blades that, similar to the MAK, you know, this thing is just as good at feather sticking, fire starting, as it is processing the game animals that you've downed. It's going to do a good job. Maybe not as good a job as something like the MAK because of its Scandinavian grind, but realistically speaking, you could easily use this knife uh, to skin, gut, flesh, whatever you gotta do to an animal, this is going to be able to do it just fine. And with this blade, it's rocking CPM at 3V, so you have excellent edge retention. And you just want to watch it a little bit because CPM 3V is not the most corrosion resistant steel. But overall, it's pretty durable and pretty hard to mess up. So once again, this is just one of my most carried bushcrafting and outdoor knives. And so it sees a lot of time and therefore naturally processes game animals too. So moving over to some more budget oriented options. This is definitely another one that sees quite a bit of time outdoors. And uh, this is the 
Mora Bushcraft Black, and uh, this one, similar to the Bark River Knives Bushcrafter, is a knife that I just tend to have on me a lot. I don't necessarily think that this is the best knife for game processing, though it can do a just fine job. I mean, I've breasted out grouse with this thing, and once again, it's a little bit on the thicker end, and so it's not my favorite to do that job, but it will do it just fine. You know, the blade is sharp, and so long as you know what you're doing, you can easily work with this blade around small game animals or large game animals. You do want to keep in mind that this basically, this blade is basically 1095, so it might not have the best edge retention when it comes to processing larger game animals, but it is also pretty easy to sharpen as well. So overall, it is a pretty fantastic option. I mean, it was very functional for me, and once again, very great for camping and also for turning around and processing game animals. Um, the one nice thing I will say about this blade is that even though it is carbon steel, it is uh, DLC coated, as you guys can see there, by that kind of black finish, so it should be reasonably corrosion resistant. Okay, last one up on the list is going to be the Condor Pterosaur. Now, similar to the Mora Bushcraft Black, this might not be the absolute best blade when it comes to game processing, but it's another blade that I have on me a lot, and once again, I've certainly processed small game with this guy before. Uh, it can easily do anything you need it to do, but it certainly does the job just fine, and uh, there's really no complaints about it. It's very similar to the Bushcraft Black and the fact that you know it has a Scandinavian grind, though I will say I tend to prefer this one a little bit more than the Bushcraft Black because it has more of a draw point, whereas the uh, Bushcraft Black has a bit more of a clip point, so you can kind of see that there's just more meat towards the tip of this blade as opposed to this one, so when you're trying to make entry cuts like to pull the guts out of an animal, this is very easy to make a nice small incision and it's very controlled, very easy, and of course you have a nice sharp tip to do that. So a little bit better uh, with the Condor Pterosaur, but overall, once again, not super fantastic, but definitely not a bad blade. Now the only difference, uh, or one thing you'll want to keep in mind, in between something like the Bushcraft Black and the Pterosaur, if you choose to go with this uh, knife, is the fact that, like I said, this is DLC coated, this blade is not coated, so it just has its natural finish uh, on the blade and then on the actual grind. It is uncoated, so you can see that this one already has a bit of patina, but if you're dealing with blood and, you know, obviously processing game animals, you'll want to keep this one clean or more clean because it's going to be more prone to rusting or patina or developing a patina on that actual blade. So nothing too big or too crazy. Once again, I've processed plenty of game animals with this, game, or with this knife as well, and it doesn't look too bad. There's a little bit of patina on the blade in general, but it's not too bad, so uh, not unmanageable for sure. Anyways guys, and that is my top four knives for hunting. These may not, like I said, be the absolute best choices, but these are certainly very versatile blades that will do a great deal of tasks, and hunting is one task that I usually have these knives help me with, and it is, and all of them perform very well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video, hopefully it helps, and as always, God bless, and I'm out.